No, I couldn't take them off. My nose is broken, I'm keeping them on. And she showed up with Sid, and I was thinking, who the fuck is this cunt? This is an horrible person. It was like the weirdest thing. I never felt such a negative energy from someone. It was just a dark cloud with this bird, and I fucking hated her. First time I came across Nancy, I think Steve was shagging her in the toilet. <laughs> I didn't like her. Nancy was a hooker that was on the coattails of the New York Dolls. And I actually introduced her to Sid. And shame on me. In New York, I was dancing without any clothes on. You used to go down to the guys and dance in front of them and then get tips off them. And you do a little hand job, you know, for 10 bucks. They wanted to fuck. I, I just, you know. What to do? Did it, you know. I just, there, there wasn't really anything to it. I just give good blowjobs. <laughs> And I'll rip your balls off. I read the first Sex Pistols review, which was shit, and I said, I gotta get over that. I wanted to see something exciting. Nancy, as his heroin dealer stroke girlfriend, was pumping him up with gear every chance you could get. He didn't like me because I was a junkie. He tried to keep me and sit apart for months, months, months. Everyone knows when a bird starts poking their nose into a rock and roll band, that it's suicidal. Because that's when he really started getting fucked up and not caring about playing. I didn't want anything to do with her. We did everything to get rid of Nancy that was physically possible. I even dangled her out of a window one night by her ankles. The rest of the band hated me. Because I was just in New York Dolls, Johnny and Jerry, and they were junkies. <laughs> 